I'm Rob Woodfield with the Orange County Register and welcome to OCN2 for Friday, October 2nd. Prosecutors say a man arrested in August on suspicion of hiding a video camera in a women's locker room was already facing charges in an unrelated gang assault. 22-year-old David Ramos was arrested on August 19th at Synergy Performance Health and Fitness Center in Lake Forest, where he worked the front desk, accused of entering the women's locker room the day before and attempting to set up a video camera in a potted plant. In a telephone interview Thursday, Ramos denied putting the camera into the plant and called the accusation a mistake. Meanwhile, prosecutors are also accusing Ramos of being a member of a criminal street gang and attacking a man not associated with a gang. If convicted of secretly filming another, Ramos faces a maximum of six months in jail. In the gang case, Ramos faces as much as nine years and four months in prison. A music teacher at Serrano Intermediate School in Lake Forest has been arrested on suspicion of flashing a medical office receptionist while his son was being seen by a doctor and is being held in lieu of $10,000 bail. Authorities say 41-year-old Mark Petrish is accused of pulling down his pants at a Lake Forest medical office on August 24th while talking with a receptionist. School officials said Petrish's fate at Serrano Intermediate School is unclear as the district says it's trying to figure out what to do next. According to the school's website, Petrish has taught at Serrano Intermediate School for 11 years. An Orange County grand jury has indicted a Long Beach man on suspicion of nearly decapitating his best friend in 1988 and then setting the corpse on fire. 49-year-old Paul Smith was already charged with the murder of 29-year-old Robert Hagen in Hagen's Sunset Beach apartment in October of 1988. But the indictment accuses Smith of torturing his victim, meaning Smith could face life in prison without the possibility of parole if convicted. Smith was arrested on domestic violence charges in 2007, and prosecutors say DNA gathered from that arrest was linked to blood taken from Hagen's apartment in 1988. A dozen protesters gathered in front of the Nixon Presidential Library and Museum Thursday, the 60th anniversary of the People's Republic of China, to protest a statue of Chairman Mao Zedong. The life-size statue of the deceased communist Chinese leader is in the Hall of World Leaders exhibit at the museum. Wearing t-shirts with the words Tiananmen Square designed to look like blood dripping onto the words Beijing Olympics, the protesters said having a statue of Mao in the library was like having a statue of Soviet leader Joseph Stalin in the Franklin D. Roosevelt Presidential Library and Museum. Library director Timothy Naftali said he sympathized with the protesters' complaint, but he had no immediate plans to change the exhibit. He has, however, placed a new sign in the World Leaders section explaining that the exhibit is one inherited and not necessarily endorsed by the government. And you can read more about all of these stories and get your breaking news all day at ocregister.com.